Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'll be talking about computed columns. So in one of my previous video, I talked about columns, adding a column in an existing table, and uh, modifying a column, renaming a column, and changing its data type. Right. So in this video, I'll talk about computed columns. So so this is also a kind of a column that you can have in a table, or you know this you can add this column while creating a table, or you can add this column after creating a table also. And this column is basically dependent on other columns because its name suggests it's a computed column right so this is always calculated based upon the other column values right so let's check few of its properties so this is computed from an expression that can use other columns in the same table okay it can be a non-computed column name constant function with one or more operators okay and it cannot be a subquery please note this okay so let's see a simple example where you know we will create a employee table and this is the same example that I use in my other videos. Okay, so it, this is a simple employee table having employee ID, employee name, gender, date of birth, date of joining, and department ID. And I'll insert the same sample records in this table, three records. Okay, and let's see these records. Okay, so I have this date of birth column. Okay, and based upon this date of birth column, we can predict the age, right? We can calculate the age. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll add age as a calculated column in my employee table. Okay, so the syntax to add this new column age in our employee table goes like this alter table table name. Okay, add the new column name as the and this is the expression, right? So this expression is date diff. I'm just uh, doing a difference between two dates and I'm taking the year. So I am taking a difference from the date of birth and the get date means get date means today's date. So from today's date and the date of birth, I'm taking out the number of years that have passed. Okay. So if you don't remember the syntax, there is one more way to do it from the table design. I'll show you how. Just right click on the table and click design. Okay. And put up the new column name that is age and set the data type int. Okay. And in the properties below, while you have selected this particular column, Right, you can see computed column specification. Okay, expand it. Now this says the formula or the expression that you want to give. Right, so we'll give the same expression over here that we mentioned over here. That is date diff y y d o b and get date. Okay, so here it goes d a t e d i f f. Okay, and within brackets y y for year, then date of birth d o b. This is the column name in our employee table. Okay, and this is the get date function okay that we'll use okay so and this other property that is is persisted it is right now no and we can set it to yes and we can also set it to no based upon you know what is our condition so is persisted property is nothing but you know if you choose it to yes it will make this value as persisted right persisted means this value will be physically saved right if you insert a record for the first time it will be calculated and saved in the table right and uh, if this is set as no this particular value that is calculated value is never saved right whenever you query the table this particular expression is always evaluated and the age is calculated again and again whenever you try to retrieve the information right so um, let's just try to see what uh, change script it has created okay so it has created the same change script right uh, like this I'll just close this okay and uh, I'll just paste it over here to show you the, what the change script it has created so it is in alter table table name then add and after add it is and after add it is age as and this particular expression right so I'll just remove it and to add this calculated column I'll just execute this alter table statement okay and here we go we have got this column added at the end age you can see it is mentioned as computed int and null and this particular icon is coming over here right now let's see how the records will show up with the new column and you can see the age you know that is populated over here this is nothing but calculated by just taking the difference of today's date and this date of birth right so whenever you change this date of birth this will also change automatically right and the persisted property that we saw was the was the physical and logical entity right so if you select persisted the age will be physically stored every time right 
and uh, if you don't select the persisted if you if you select the persisted as no right then the age will be not stored physically but it will store logically means every time you do a select star from employee this age will be calculated right so based upon the performance uh, scenarios and you know complexity of the formula you can try switching between the persisted column and the non persisted column okay so going back to the list here we see that uh, you know it can be non computed column name right non computed column name means it can be like these non computed column names okay any one of these okay and um, it can be a constant even right even you know I can just add a I can just add a column just like this like XYZ as nothing right so I can just add a constant value also right so it will just appear as like this right but that does not have a meaning right it, it can be a function also right so if I have some scalar function over here I can also use this scalar function over here right so this is this is like one scenario right where you already have a table okay and you uh, you alter this table and added this column after right now let's see another scenario where you can have this column in the create table itself so let's take this example of the products table right we have products table and we have product ID quantity price and the total value total value will be quantity into price right so let's create this table okay now let's go back to our list what what else it says right it says that cannot be used as a default or foreign key constraint definition or with a not null constraint definition and it says used as check foreign key or not null constraint but be marked as persisted okay so if you are using it as a check constraint with a check constraint foreign key or not null computed column should be marked as persisted right and it also says that it cannot be target of an insert or update statement so this is obvious right because this is a computed column so you cannot insert or update on this particular column right so whenever you are inserting records in products table or the above employee table you have to skip the computed column right so like this let's say I want to insert in this table right insert into products and you have to give the products table list right so I'll, I'll, I'll take the list from here right and I have to remove this total value right because this is a computed column right and I can give it like this okay so a products ID is also an entity column so I can remove this okay quantity is 5 and the value is 200 okay now let's see how it evaluated our computed column okay let's check just do a select a star from dbo dot products okay see the total value is 1005 into 200 okay let's enter one more record now it is it is 3 and it is 150 okay now let's do a select a star and you can see right 3 into 150 450 right and let's say if you want to make this total value column as persisted what you have to do is you have to drop this column and recreate this column right so any change that you have to do in persisted columns like in this total value column or in this age column like if you change if you want to change the formula expression over here or anything if you want to add a persisted option over here you have to drop this column and recreate this column right so let, let us do that drop column alter table products drop column total value okay this has been dropped and alter table add total value as qt qty into price persisted right so so this will make this column always persisted and uh, whenever you are doing a select from this table right this is uh, not going to rerun the formula this is not going to rerun this formula instead of that it is going to just you know pick up this uh, the stored value but whenever there are changes in you know these particular columns it will again rerun the formula and again persist the value right so as I already said persisting or non persisting will depend on the load on this particular table as well as the expression on this particular column 
so if there are lot of records and you know if the expression is very very complex and it takes time so it's better to persist the column value otherwise if the records are less and the expression is not very complex and expensive you can uh, avoid using this persisted column right so this is all about uh, persisted columns thank you very much for watching this video please let me know your comments and suggestions and please subscribe thank you very much